The Adelaide International starting off the season for the ATP. We have some huge names, including Djokovic, coming back for the first time in the new season. And we've got some massive matchups with the draw just coming out. Let's go to the withdrawals and then let's look at some of the key matchups in the first rounds. So only a couple of withdrawals here. We had Mute and Nakashima both pulling out of the event before it started. But even though they're not playing, we have huge names participating in this tournament. Starting with the top section of the draw there, you can see Djokovic. He's going to play as the number one seed against Lestian, the French player. Player that he's never actually played before. So that'd be an interesting matchup for Nole in the first round. You can also see the number seven seed Shapovalov taking on a qualifier in the first round and those guys could play in the quarterfinals if it does play out that way. Second quarter of the draw now you've got Medvedev, the number three seed, taking on Sinego. Very tricky matchup there for Medi to start the year off. Actually never played before which is interesting because there are a similar era of tennis player that played in the same generation. So tough start for Medvedev and you can see there Hashinov, the number eight seed, he'll take on Kashin in the first round. He's actually never played him before so not the easiest starts for, for the Russians in this event and Hashinov, Medvedev are projected to play in the quarterfinals. And of course, this section of the draw will play the Djokovic section. So possibly Medvedev, Djokovic, semi-final to start the season. Bottom sections of the draw now, we've got Sinner, the number six seed, taking on Kyle Edmund, who's coming in with a protected ranking. And again, just like all the other matchups, these two have never actually played before. So let's see, because Edmund, about four years ago, really was at the top of his game. And of course, since then, Sinner has gone on to do great things. You can also see Andy Murray is going to take on Sebastian Corder in this section of the draw. A matchup that we saw last Last year on the indoor hard courts of Spain with Korda getting a win over Murray back then. So that'll be a really fun matchup. And the number four seed, Rublev taking on Batista Agu. Tough match there for Rublev. They've actually played seven times before. The last time being in Rome back in 2021 with Rublev getting the win. Last time they played on a hard court though, Batista Agu got the win. In fact, three of the four matches they played on hard courts have gone to RBA. And the bottom section of the draw now, we've got Runa, the number five seed, taking on Nishioka in the first round. Those guys have never met before. So that'll be interesting to see how Runa does after such a successful end. And the number two seed, Felix Ogialiassim, he gets a qualifier in the first round. Of course, Runa and FAA could play in the quarterfinals and either take on Sinner or Rublev in the semifinals if the seeds all do progress. There you have it. That is the Adelaide draw for this year. And it's going to be really interesting to see how the players do, especially Djokovic. Of course, first time in Australia, all the craziness that happened this time last year with the deportation. He finally got in and gets to play some warm-up events. But let me know down in the comments below, what's your prediction for this one? I think it's hard to pick against Djokovic at any point at the moment. But you've got guys like Medvedev, who's done well in Australia before, of course, made the final of the last two Australian Opens. You've got guys like Runa, who are coming off a really hot finish to the last season. FAA, another one of those guys. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think's gonna win Adelaide to start the season off?